welcome to today's video where we have the sex symbol and X Factor superstar Sam Callahan. Coming up, we find out why Gary Barlow blocked him on Twitter and he gives a very sincere apology. Sort of. Gary. I'm ever so upset. And what about the Essex feud that you'll never see on TOWIE that means that Sam will never speak to Gemma Collins ever again? Get out of my space, bitch. 100%. And what else was there? Oh yeah, he hits me in the head. Ow! Ow! The problem, Sam, that we've got here is that I'm like so much taller than you. That, that's... I, mean, I don't want to... I don't want most people face with me. I don't want to offend you or anything. I'm like at least three feet taller than you, Sam. <laughs> I might see more of you than I'm seeing today at some point. <laughs> Maybe. It's good that you're clothed. Not in person. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Where have I seen more of you before? Just... Uh, Sam's in his natural habitat. <laughs> behind the bar. I'm trying to fly. What are you doing? Are you loud back there? This is what you've been doing after X Factor, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is the real Sam Sam for you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this flower arrangement that you've done is absolutely gorgeous, Sam. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing that with you today. What people can't realise is those flowers are actually normal sized. <laughs> hey, get out of my pub. <laughs> Get kicked out, Sam Callahan. Enough of your japes. What's the What's the bar called in Hollyoaks? Why, why have you got a spoon? Well, it's a prop. Would you like Would you like a tip? Your gay following has increased recently, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. There are some people on the gay scene who are speculating Sam Callahan. Well, that I'm gay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone just thinks I'm gay. I wasn't sure. I mean, I turned up with my lucky dating spoon. I was front cover of Gay Times twice. Oh. That might do it. And after that, it just sort of went. It yeah. went what? Okay. Um, have you ever kissed a boy? No. Have you ever held hands with a boy? Probably like my brother on a roller coaster. That's not gay. No. No. I think I should pour myself another drink. Oh my God. God. Wait, have we got like a yellow page? Do you want something to stand on? I'll kidding. just be short. I'd rather just be short. It's alright, Sam. I'll, uh, if I give you one of these. I think that's about the right height. Perfect! And you look much better like that. Let me lift you down. Oh god. Oh, there we are. There we are, Sam, that's fine. Thank you! Okay. The flies were undone the whole time. No, that was just my sleight of hand. Right, enough of that wiffle waffle. I wanted to find out what was the deal with this feud he's been having with Gary Barlow since the X Factor. Why did Gary block Sam? Here's what Sam had to say. So, I've never been... 100% sure about what Gary Barlow thinks of me. Um, on the show, on X Factor, on X Factor, he was very, uh, very anti-Sam. Oh, third person reference to yourself there. Yeah. Well, no, he was, like, and, and I think... Ego coming through. And what did Sam think about that? <laughs> Sam, people always say, like, it was that real. I'm never sure. Why, why did he hate you in the first place? And that's what I mean, I don't know what I did. Like, why did he not like me in the first place? I literally just sang, and he didn't like me, so maybe just, maybe I'm just terrible. I like in my interviews to help people. Okay. Okay? This is not so much about me and my interviews and being amazing. It's more about you. And I think what you need is to talk into the lens to Gary Barlow. <laughs> Gary, I'm ever so upset that you blocked me on Twitter. I don't, I don't really know why you blocked me on Twitter. Um, but if you could unblock me, that'd be great. Why don't you like me, Gary? <laughs> what is portrayed on TV of Gary may be true. He may be a nation sweetheart, and he may just be a really nice guy. Um, but I, this is why I wasn't sure whether it was just for TV, if you know what I mean. Or maybe he's just like a bit wound, wound, wound up a bit too tight. Chill out a bit. Let's sing a Take That song. Oh, that will totally get you back in his good books. What other Gary Barlow song is there? What other Gary Barlow song is there? Do you know any Gary Barlow songs? He hasn't done many, has he? Gary Barlow song. Oh my god, I know exactly what you should sing. Oh though. man. Whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. I want you back. 
want you back. Did you want back? I want you back for good, Gary. When I tweeted you the picture, I didn't think that you'd block me. Want you back? I want you back. I want you back for good. You look great in those pants and better than me. <laughs> I want you back. I want you back for good. <laughs> at least I, uh, at least I pay my tax bill. Oofed, Gary Barlow, Grand High Lord of Pop, Archduke of Take That Bury. Um, national treasure. I'm sorry, Sam said that, not me. Change the subject. I started going to the gym. Cool. Yeah. What but did you do? Cross train. Have you been today? No. Uh, I go four or five times a week. You haven't seen. I'm closed. <laughs> take your top off and show me. I'm good. It's in the contract, isn't it? That you <laughs> no. take your top off. Fuck me. <laughs> it's like a grizzly bear. I like it real. It's natural. Mine's real. It's how I was it's born. Just Can I feel the prickles? No. Oh, okay. Suddenly it's got homophobic now. <laughs> no, I'm gay. You just touch mine. I slapped yours. It's different. You're such a shirt lifter. Right, okay. <laughs> Does that make you feel superior to me? No, but I'm so orange. The magazines need to know. The Gay Times needs to know. Sam Callan has just decided that he's deeply in love with me. But we're having an arm wrestle. Three. Two, one, go. Ah! Ow! Three, two, one, go. Ah! You had a nice day. <laughs> ah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> you did that on purpose. Oh, I was gonna try and let you win, but you just smacked yourself in the face. I'm so sorry that you definitely need to hit the gym more. <laughs> <laughs> So is every man I sleep with. <laughs> um, talking of which, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> but first, Sam, you're not going anywhere because, as we all know, I am a rubbish journalist. So I'm going to introduce this bit from where I belong. It's a bin in Chinatown, probably the most famous bin on this street. You told me a story about yourself and Gemma Collins from TOWIE. You said that you would never be able to speak to her ever again. Sort of, I'm putting words in your mouth, but I'm a rubbish journalist, I'm allowed to do that. You basically said you and Gemma had such a massive row you could never speak again. Exclusive to Andy Vision, subscribe. Here's the reason Sam Callahan had a really big row in a car park with Gemma Collins. Clickbait. Come on, give me a hand. Do you see that? Someone just put a bit of rubbish in my bin. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Will you marry me? <laughs> go on, then. What we do here is go back, 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 back. She argued with me about a parking space once. We had an argument. Where was it? Was it at a shop? Sainsbury's? It was behind her shop. She was just like, uh, you parked in my space again. <laughs> Did a lot of that, so I said, get out of my space, bitch. 100%. And well, what did you say? Um, it's not your space. Um, beep, beep. I'll leave my car there, thanks. It's Brentwood, it's just like a car park. What was she wearing? Um, tracksuit bottoms and a t-shirt. I don't know why I can remember that. It's obviously you. hurt me, yeah. <laughs> Do not park in Gemma Collins' parking space in Brentwood. Damn right. It's her space! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared about what this is gonna turn out like. <laughs> And that's you what my mum have... said when she got pregnant with me. Oh. And she's regretted it ever since. <laughs> you can have the same confidence that this video will be every bit as respectable and seemly and uh, as you are. a matter of pride as I am to my mum. Then we're both fucked. Ah!